welcome back, I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction and review video for this week's episode of Supergirl, this time for episode 8 of season 2. Uh, the title of the episode is Medusa, which it just, it's like a, a, a like the aftermath, I guess, of what happened at the end of last week's episode with Cyborg Superman going to the Fortress of Salute, or I, I don't know how that shit is called, okay? The place where Superman goes to, I don't know, clear his mind or something. Um, so, he asked uh, what they knew about Project Medusa. So I'm guessing that in this week's episode, we're gonna find out what Project Medusa is. Uh, also, I think, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about this, but I think this is the last episode before the big break uh, you know the holiday breaks that uh, like that we always have, and Supergirl is not going to return until I think uh, January or something like that. So I hope that we get a lot of Sambers. I'm not gonna lie, I have been watching Supergirl way before Sambers. I love Supergirl, but now that I have Sambers and Sambers is my OTP here, I want to have more of them. So also. I know that Alex is coming out to her mother tonight, so I'm very excited for that. I don't know how Eliza is gonna take it because Eliza is a little bit harsh on, on Alex and she's always pressuring her and Alex just never feels comfortable telling her mother things because she thinks her mother disapproves everything that she does, so I don't know how is how is this going to work. I don't know if Eliza is just gonna go like not talking to her daughter, or if she's going to support, I honestly hope that she does support Alex, but there's history there, okay? She was really pissed off when Alex last uh, year came out as a DEO agent. She was pretty damn upset about that, but she had her reasons, you know, because Jeremiah, uh, uh, like, the real hang, hang shop. And he, he wanted to take Kara away, so that's why Jeremiah offered himself uh, so he can protect the girl. So, I don't know. I'm very excited for this episode, as I always, always are. I don't know if this is actually the last episode uh, before the break. I just, I don't, I barely make it one week without Sambers. What am I gonna do for like a month or more without Sambers? I don't know, because Sambers have come here to save 2016, even if they don't make them canon right now, like if they don't make them a couple in this episode, I don't know if they will, I honestly don't know, uh, but so far, they have saved 2016. They, and Way Hot, and the Cormilla and Laura, that I still don't remember, Holstein? That's the name, that's Carmilla's last name, I think. I don't know what's the ship name, but yeah, I'm very excited for that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video, and if you do, please, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to see more reaction videos, and I don't have anything else to say. Let's just enjoy episode 8 of season 2 of Supergirl. <laughs> really pissed up. Oh, no Sambers on the intro? Okay. Oh, look at Kara. I will never do her thing. Watching you do that. Yeah. Don't tell her. No, just let me, let me start it out, right? I'm gonna casually drop how badass the suit is. So, oh my yeah, god. It's like, oh. This oh, too. This so good. It's like, yeah. Tell who what. Alex. She's already drunk? So he's not gonna have you two hijacking the night with your vigilante Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I oh couldn't a wink last night. No, I can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, shut up! You can't wait. Mm. Oh, that you asked for stuffing, so I ripped open my mattress and uh, pulled some out. What? Uh, that's not what he. Well, that's yes. not what I meant. Kara, I have to hear about this science. What is science? <laughs> oh my god, he's so awkward. I love him. How is? Are you okay? Alex yeah. already drunk. What? Yeah. I think one hell is hitting on Eliza. What? No way. Mm. He's and, not. Uh, he brought stuffing. Oh my. Oh no, please. Mm -mm. She needs to stop. They're keeping him all the alcohol away from her. You really hit it off with Monel. What? He's 
just chanting the F because I'm your mother. My team likes you. Yeah, of course. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. Look look at Alex. Look at Alex. Oh my god. Look at Alex. Believe me, a mother knows. Aww. But he's so cute though. I ship her with with Lena, but that's oh, never gonna happen. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, I hope okay. it does. Maybe so Lena and, and that before the meal, Car are gonna be like the Faberi on this show. Before, so. oh. I'm just gonna jump in and say there Yeah, so just jump in because these bitches are not gonna stop. And, I, and honestly, the, I, I don't think I've ever really felt this much like myself than, than right now. Yeah. So there's a reason for that. And oh my gosh. that reason. <laughs> well, that reason. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The Flash, God damn it, running everything. She was about to come out, bitch. Does that normally happen? I, I bet you I could get her to say what she knows. Yeah, of course you can. Recording skills. What? And good old-fashioned sneakiness. From who? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You guys, I can be sneaky when I want to be. Yeah, of course you can. Definitely. Yeah. So he hasn't tell them that he's turning into white man. Well, he, she knows, right? Okay, so Kara only reports. Oh my gosh, she looks so hot. I love my turn of thoughts. It's just fucking on Lena. But she only works when she has to interview Lena, right? Okay. Oh, I'm sure your mother is fascinating. I could never agree on anything. What sort of things didn't you agree on? She's not gonna tell you about printed candles, come on. Business or? Oh god, no, my mother couldn't care less about El Corp. Well, what about back when it was El Corp. Corp? How did she feel when you. Yeah, I would hope so. She doesn't think so. Look, Car, you know, I'm a complete idiot. I forgot how. How does she look so I hot? Just, you will do us justice. It's yeah. just so. It's good Oof. to see. Yes, I ship them. I ship them! Now she's a sneaky. Look at her. Mom, we need to talk. Oh shit. How did she do? She's not bad. I hope that. So wait, they couldn't repair his face? Uh oh. What, what is this? Oh, don't get in. Don't get in. Okay, you're an alien too, get out! Okay, it's everything, like, it's done. You're so lucky, Monel. Yeah. This is Cadmus. It is Cadmus, but it's targeting alien aliens. My sister is not leaving here until we figure out how Cadmus exactly. is able to target only aliens. Yeah. It's better safe than sorry. That's true. But you, okay, it's safe to have him locked too. Oh my god, Lena. When it comes to your children, Lex was always your favorite. Of course. This motherfucker. I hate her. And you always. Of course she father. could say that. I sound almost jealous. You shouldn't take it all so personally. No parent truly loves their children equally. And though. Oh my god. I loved Lex you Lena, should. I do love you, Lena. Yeah, sure you do. Way. Wow. Yeah. How did we come? Because you tell me you love me. And we both know that's not true. Oh, Lena! Thanks for stopping by, Mom. Oh my god! Can I hug Lena? Oh crap! Oh, sucks for you. They're playing Monopoly. My turn? Sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not following. You don't want to mate with me, do you? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he does! Um, I mean, have you seen the women that I've been attracting, Earthlings and otherwise, since I've been on this planet? <laughs> uh, thank you for the clarification. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Is he having, please tell me he's having a panic attack. No, no, don't expose yourself. Oh my god. I don't think all that smoke is helping him breathe. Oh my god, poor thing. Yeah. That's why they needed it to get in. To get into what? The fortress of... Fortress of Solitude. That thing that I never know what it is. The Fortress of Solitude. Did I say it right? Maybe not. Woo! 
Oh yeah. He's been there, honey. Is that little thing broken? That robot thing. Oh, there she is. Kellex, what happened here? Karazorel, there is an intruder in the fortress. Where? Who is it? You. You are the intruder. What? You will be destroyed. Oh my god, this little thing, I was rooting for you, bitch. Oh, her dad. Hello, Kara. What do you wish to know? Um, he has a hard time always is, uh, seeing them and knowing that they're Leave just yourself. holograms. A weaponized virus. I know you've been trying to tell me something. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 no. Come on, Alex. Hmm? <laughs> Look at her. I just love this girl so much. How? You have anything to do with Maggie? You mention her a lot. Oh my god, of course she does. My beautiful Alexandra, why? Why is it so hard? Oh, Alexandra! I feel like I'm, uh, I'm letting you down. No. Somehow. Oh my god, Alex! Why would your being gay ever let me down? What? You always wanted me to have she... a regular life. Alex, wait, wait she just look said... Look at the life our family has led. Look wait. at me, look at your wait. sister. She knew! I don't, I don't think you believe I ever expected you to have a regular life. She knew! You were always going to be different, Alex. Aww. Because you were always exceptional. And I love you. Aww. However you are. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god. Eliza, I love you, Eliza. I, she knew. And I love Eliza. That was so... Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, parents well, should take notes from that. Oh my god. <gasps> She's going to go with Lena. Oh my god, I love when she flies. Maggie, oh get my... every available unit you have to Elcorp now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything for him. Oh. Yeah, look at your girl fighting for you. Well, not exactly for you, but you know what I mean? Oh, Elkar. Oh my god, Lena, run! Run, Lena, run! No, no! Don't you dare, you motherfucker! Oh my god, yes! Saving your girl. Yes! Yes, run, Lena, run. Okay, there is no. What is that? Oh, the flash. What the hell is he trying to do, though? <gasps> what? What a shooter! This motherfucker! I fucking hate him! What? Why shoot her? This motherfucker! Oh my Did you god! Secure the isotope from Elcor? No. No, but Henshaw didn't get it either. Oh my <laughs> god! Why did he shot Maggie? What is his problem? Fucking hate him. Some... Pretty good actors. Yeah. Sociopaths. Either way, they they know how to fool people. No, no. I no, but I don't think Lena know anything about Cadmus and her mother. I know it. Yeah, I, I think that too. No, I think that too. Lena is not a bad person. I hope. You wear that symbol on your chest and everyone thinks you're good. She is good. Lena, what the and hell? Did your cousin put on that high and mighty costume and come after Lex? And now she thinks she's coming after her mom. My mother's no saint. But you come in here and accuse her of being the devil incarnate? No, oh, Lena. How long before you come after me? And you are not like your mother. Oh, of course not. Can you guys kiss? She is cold and dangerous. And you are too good and too smart to follow her. kiss? Path. No, they're not gonna kiss. Be your own hero. Oh my god. Supergirl, she's so nice. Can you guys kiss? You can leave the same way you came in. Oh my god. She's having a hard time. Let her let her process everything, Kara. Oh, Lena just loves her family. 
even though the bitch said that she's adoptive. Sorry. <gasps> you okay? Oh, I'm okay. Oh my. Just a little nervous. You're not very good at this. Oh, well. Clearly, the drugs have kicked in because oh my God. you. Oh my God. You. This is so hot. No. Thank you. For what? For what? Yeah. Well, I told my mom. Yeah. I did. How did she take it? Better than me. <laughs> you know, when you, um, when you first suggested that I was gay, I, uh... She said it! Finally! And then... Thank you, Alex. That it was just about you. That that was my new normal. Yeah. That's that okay. My new normal. Aw, but that's okay, I'm baby. I'm happy that it is. I'm so Listen, happy for you, Alex. I, uh, I don't know, I, fi I finally, I get me. Yeah. And now I realize that it, it wasn't about you, but it's, it's about me living my life. That's so good, so, honey. You go, girl. You, you go, girl. Anytime. Look at her, how you can say that she doesn't like her? Look at her hard eyes, come on. Detective, she needs to go and get her girl. He's the reason you are in so much pain and he's the reason that I can't do anything about it. Oh, these two are gonna kiss. I'm not mad about them. Them? All these worlds, you have to make me feel better. I knew they were gonna kiss. Aww. I still want her to kiss Lena, but I'm comfortable with this. Aww. Oh, dear. There was a string of, of saliva. Yeah, she's beautiful. Twice in one day. It's almost like we have a real mother-daughter relationship. <laughs> this bitch. The Medusa virus. Like you'd lecture Lex. Oh my god. This bitch. No. <gasps> Don't tell me that you're gonna help your mom. What you said before. It's that easy. Yeah, is that easy? It's that easy. Really, Lena? I didn't think you believed in the cause. Then maybe it's time you got to know your daughter a little better. What? No! Lena! What is it? No, I want Lena to be good. What the hell? Oh my god. Really, Lena? Take it. Prove you're with me. Unleash Medusa and and Earth's alien menace once and for all. Lena, Lena, honey, this is not the way to bond with your mom. Seriously, you can do so much better. Don't do it, Lena. Why not? I'm a loser. No, you don't have to own that. You have. You can change it. No. Lena, loser. I've got this. You two are finished. You're wrong about that. Oh god damn it. The cyber superman. Oh no no no! Oh god damn it! Lena, Lena, tell me that you did something like Is Lena really bad? Oh my god. I am a monster. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. He's about to piss himself. You go, Cyber Superman. Piss yourself, bitch. Come on, fly faster. Yeah, sure, that's gonna help, Cyber Superman. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god. Please tell me that Lena put something else inside of that. I'm Cyborg Superman! I don't care, dude. You may be a cyborg, but you are no Superman. Oh yeah, thank you so much. Did he kill? Did she kill him? I'm coming, Myra. No, don't go anywhere. 
Okay, everybody looks really... Okay, yes, of course. Take a selfie. Oh, Brian, hi. Nothing happened! Lena, loser! Lena didn't do it! They should be dead. Yeah, they're not, bitch. They should be dead. Yeah, she didn't do it. You. Oh, my you God. You switched out the isotope. Yeah, you made the virus inert. I did. And I called the police. Yes, Lena! I love you! I love you! I love Lena. I, I knew that she wasn't bad. I knew it. She has my heart. For how many sons we burn, Monel and Daxel will be found. What? Who are those? Who are they when Monel did? did? No, Is you're seven? not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jean's white Martian blood cells. So he's back? Yes! He's back! Oh my, oh my god, so he's not a white Martian. Yeah, it's a bitch. Yes. My pleasure. Oh my god. I'm so glad you're up there. Does he know and he doesn't want to tell her? He knows! Oh, oh my god. I love you, Monel. But there's something wrong with you, right? Oh my god, Alex. What? Is this Alex's place? It looks different. Oh! Hey. <laughs> Harry? Yes. Oh my god. Please ignore the pajamas. See you and talk to you. Okay. Is everything okay? Are you gonna tell her how um, good of a friend you are? No, Is it gonna flip? I almost died. Uh, yeah, no, I would not have let that happen. Yeah, of course that. not. But um, it got me thinking that I, I was so stupid. I, I thought that it. And I guess I was kind of right that you you came out for me. Okay. And that scared me. They, they're gonna um, kiss or something? I can't. Um, I can't deal with this. My life is too short. Yes, of course it is. And we should be who we are. Yeah, that's all about. We should kiss the girls that we want to kiss. Just... She wants to kiss her? I, I want to kiss you. Kiss her! Go, go ahead! <gasps> yes, bitches! Yes! Finally! You're saying you like me. Yeah, she's saying she likes you. Yeah. Of course, you're not going to go crazy on me, are you? Probably. Yeah, she will. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm gonna watch it, but Sammers, bitches! Woo! They have rice, they have rice. Okay, guys, that was the end of episode eight. Oh, uh, I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's focus on, on the straight part of the episode, which was pretty much the entire episode, besides the parts where we have Alex and Maggie. Um, Project Medusa, a virus created by Kara's dad to kill aliens but to protect, protect Kryptonians. Um, I just love the way that um, they made the case and Kara's backstory and Lena's story connected, in a way. 
you know, both Lena and Kara in this episode were dealing with secrets and things their parents did and how they that affects them, how they are their legacy in a way and whether if they should, you know, um, follow their steps. For Kara, she has always believed that her parents were the good guys. She always thought that they were good, that they were trying to help people and, you know, in war, in politics and all of that, not everything is black and white and her, his, her dad creating the virus to kill a lot of people, a lot of innocent maybe aliens that were in Krypton, maybe, I don't know, um, make, made uh, uh, Kara rethink everything she knows about her parents, about her dad. And the same way was with, um, with Lena, but in like the opposite case, like L Lillian, I think that's her name, uh, the head of Cadmus, Lena, L Lilium, I'm sorry, she has always made clear, you know, pointed out that Lena was adopted, that she wasn't a real Luther, and everything that she has done was to protect her son. And I don't agree with anything that Lillian said. I, you know, if you have children, you should love them all uh, in the same way, you know? And you don't choose favorites, I guess. And you also have that story with with Kara, because she's also adopted, but she feels so comfortable with Eliza, with Alex. She believes that they are their family, even with Jeremiah, even though Jeremiah hasn't been around them for too long because he's been kidnapped and all that, but she trusts them, she cares about them, not like Lena, that she wanted to have a family. And I think that she was adopted at an earlier age than Kara was, but she has always grown up with being the adopted kid, you know, that she wasn't ever as good as, as Lex was, you know, and that just, you have to understand how much that will affect her, her. but at the same time, it was right what Kara said, that she should own her name, that she doesn't have to follow their steps, that she can be her own hero and start her own legacy, you know, and for her, I think that L Corp and all the good that she might do on L Corp uh, is because of her, it's because of who she is. It is a result of what she has lived with the Luthers and, and knowing that the Luthers were, uh, well, especially Lex, was a bad person and she didn't want to follow that. So she's trying to change that and, and it's just so amazing that even though she's trying to change all of this, she still cares about her family. She still cares about that. So when Lillian um, just, you know, she's a terrible mother. A terrible mother, you know, because one thing is that, yes, you can be and I'm not saying that she's only a terrible mother to Lena, but also to Lex, because if you have, you can love your child. I feel like you can love them unconditionally, you know. I'm not saying that she should turn his back on him, you know. I'm not saying that mothers, we are not going to see the good in them. But to go from that to start killing people in order to have your son's name clear, well, then you have to understand where that kid came from, you know? Um, because, yes, you, I mean, you can tell a mom to stop loving their kids, even if they are bad, but that doesn't mean that you don't need to make them realize that what they did was bad and then try to look for some sort of redemption for them. But this is a superheroes, billions kind of show, so of course that she's gonna turn bad and she's gonna try to kill the per the people that hurt his kid, you know? And honestly, when, when Lena wasn't, like, she didn't want to accept that, it was, you, oh my god, my heart felt like 
fell for her because she didn't want to believe that she didn't want to go through it again another person in her life that she even though she is not being treated like a loser like a real loser she still cares about her mother she still cares about her her brother you know and she always said that she was really close to Lex that Lex was the only one who made her feel at home uh, but I guess that she just she doesn't want to be a bad person you know she doesn't want to kill innocent people you know whether if they're from earth or from other places you know um, so I love the, the, the story and even though Lena Luther is not a main character on Supergirl I love the fact that you can totally put Carr's storyline and Lena's storyline together because they were so rich and the actors did an amazing job and you know I know that I joke about Lena and, and Carr kissing and you might think that I'm not even listening to what is really happening it's just that the chemistry between the actors all the actors I'm not saying just Lena and 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 Cara you know Melissa Benoist and Kathy McGrath I'm not saying that I'm saying that it's so good to see them because they play well each other I know that Supergirl's never gonna turn out to be gay but um, it's just I love the friendship between them and I know that I might say you know I want everyone to be gay and I know it's not gonna happen and I'm happy with Sambers and I'm okay with that but the thing is that um, I love how they reflects bo reflects both uh, uh, storylines and and have them come together you know that's what I love and I really really love the fact that um, you know that we can understand Lena Luther a lot better I just really hope that she's not gonna turn out to be a villain so far she has proven that she's not a villain this is the second time she saved the day uh, now she has done something really really important she has made the head of Cadmus fall which is huge I think it's huge, you know, for the first half of the season we have been dealing with Cadmus and everything and Lena is this entire reason why they were actually able to capture Lillian Luther. You know, will they actually proceed, like, make her, uh, you know, uh, how, how you, like, get her into jail? Who knows? I mean, it could happen. But at the same time, there are some legal things that maybe she can get away with it. Uh, but I hope that she doesn't. Um, what else have? Oh, Monel. Monel? It was really weird. Uh, because he was able to survive the virus that was targeting every single, you know, um, alien but Krypton, Krypton, Kryptonites, how do you say the people from Krypton? Kryptonians, right? I don't know. So is he part Kryptonian or is just that Daxton and Krypton are like, since they're really close, they share the same type of DNA? And what was the, those people that were trying to find Mo now? I'm not I'm guessing that it's going to be bad for him and that a lot of truth is gonna come out of his involvement or everything now Mornell and Kara are really cute together I'm not gonna deny it even though I do ship Kara and Lena and I used to like kinda low-key ship uh, Kara and Kat what was the name of them super super cat no I don't know he's super cat uh, I, don't, I don't remember um, but I, I used to love that like I said every you can ship everyone with everyone um, but the thing is that I love the relationship how it's playing off but now you see that Monel is being like pulling like trying to you know um, um, get with Kara and at the same time now he's pushing Kara back and I'm like what? Like, what is happening, you know? So, it's gonna be interesting. I like Monel. I like everyone on this show. I like J James, even though sometimes I think it's a little bit crazy that he's the Guardian. But I like him, and I can't wait to see 
Kara's reaction to uh, finding out that Jim, James, I always call me him Jim, I don't know why, James coming out to be the guardian, I want to know, I want to see her reaction, I hope that she slaps that bullhead, because it's kind of crazy, you know, and so, I, sometimes I feel it's a little bit out of character, then I'm, I'm starting to rewatch Supergirl, and there are some things that it might lead you to believe that he had always that in himself, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Now, let's talk about Sambers, which is like, we had like just two scenes with Sambers, like real Sambers scenes, the hospital scene and then the, uh, the apartment. The Alex apartment looks really different from what we've seen last week like when she was uh, crying with Kara, right? It looks kind of different. I'm gonna have to rewatch that scene and to see if that it's like a different angle and that's why I'm getting this vibe. Um, but, I mean, oh my God. What can I say about Sambers? What can I say about Sambers other than they came here to save the disaster, it was 2016. Uh, them, you know, Sambers and, and Way Hot from Winona Herb, also saving the day. Um, the year, actually, not just the day, the year. Um, I love the. I mean, I was, I'm here for the slow burn, and I think we got it, and now it's, it's time to celebrate that Maggie and Alex are canon, Sambers is canon. I, I think that they were already, but, you know. Uh, Maggie finally admitted her feelings for Alex and she was like yes she likes her and and Alex likes, likes her back and it's just that with what happened last week and what happened this week um, Maggie we haven't seen Maggie's point of view like so far everything has come from Alex's point of view and with her coming out and everything and it's good that we have had that I hope that for the next part of, of Supergirl, we get um, more from Maggie's side, you know, um, because Maggie, like in this episode, said that she was scared when Alex, you know, was coming out to everyone, saying that she was kind of having feelings for Maggie, and she, that freaked her out, which is normal, I guess, you know, um, because I, I feel like Maggie has had this experience before, it hadn't turned out too well, so... But now her coming like for her face to face with death, uh, a little bit dramatic though because it was just like a little thing here on her on her chest. But whatever, you know, we, she can be all the extra she wants. I mean, I'm go for uh, I can go for that. Uh, but she was like I almost died, and it made me think that who cares about how you're supposed to do things, how you're supposed to be gay, and things like that. And I think that the conversation they had in the hospital actually does help because uh, Alex said, you know, I thought I was doing it for you, but at the same time, even though when I didn't want to, to believe it, I was doing this for myself because now I can breathe, I can feel better with myself and I can be my own person and she had to thank Maggie for that too so that's what Maggie were, were like okay I almost died this girl's beautiful and I'm, she's standing there she wants to kiss me I want to kiss her then let's do it because life is too short and you have to kiss the girl that you like and I was like yes just go ahead and kiss her and they kiss and now I am I am freaking out. I have already rewatched this scene because I, it took me a while to do the, the review part because I was rewatching this scene like 10,000 times already. I mean, am I obsessed with Sam Bruce? Of course I am. And I don't regret it because it's so good. And what is even more good about this is the fact that you can't blame it on me. I was watching Supergirl way before the gays arrived. Like, the first season of Supergirl was really uh, straight. There were a lot of subtext with um, Kara and Kat. I'm like, yes. Like, I was there too. And I was like, low-key shipping them. I wasn't a hardcore shipper, I can't say that. Uh, but it, it was a good ship. Uh, also, Alex, now, now that I think about it, I'm like, okay, well, Alex also had a lot of chemistry with Astra. Right? 
now if you think about it, you know. But at that moment, I, I mean, I was here for Supergirl. I'm still here for Supergirl. I don't know if I'm gonna watch the uh, other three shows because I won't know anything. But I want to watch it because I, like I have said, I'm a huge fan of Supergirl. Supergirl's my girl, you know? So I have to watch it just to understand future references that they can make on the show. One thing that I don't understand is how in the crossover they say that they are being invaded by the Dominators. And aliens that want to end metahumans. Okay, I get it that. So, the DEO is a branch of the government specialized to deal with aliens. But the crossover only features Supergirl. Okay, I guess if the D.E.O. was at the Flash episode, we wouldn't have a week. They will end all aliens in one day, right? So that's why they are not having the crossover with the other characters, I'm guessing. Because it looks like it's only Supergirl. And they have missed a hell of an opportunity to have Wayne interact with the other nerd in the other show that I don't know anything about. But I don't know, it's just that if you're a Supergirl fan, if you, if you want the fans of Supergirl to go to the other shows and watch the other shows then you should have bring more of the character even you know what even the Martian Man Hunter you should have bring Jones Jones there and Alex too because I, I want more of Alex and Maggie and Wynn like, just bring them all why not you're having the other ones they have the entire cast why is only Supergirl there? Not that I'm complaining because Supergirl, I love Supergirl, but come on. I mean, anyway, so I don't know if I'm going to do it. If you see a reaction video for it, it, it means that I was kind of curious, and it means that I talked on the reaction for more than five seconds, I guess, or more than five minutes, I mean, because I'm not sure if I should do, like, I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna react. If I have something substantial to say about The Flash tomorrow, then I will post it. Then if I have something to say about, I think, Arrow or Legends of Tomorrow. I don't watch any of the shows, so I don't know. And maybe it will be like a test run, you know? And maybe I, if I like the stories that are unfolding on those episodes, even though I'm not gonna understand anything, then maybe I'll watch it on the hiatus. Who knows? Anyways, guys, Sambers, and now I can say it, Sambers is in game. They have my heart. I love them. Thank you for saving Super... Honestly, thank you, Supergirl, for saving the disaster that has been 2016. I cannot wait for 2017. Oh my god, my Sambers heart. I love them. I just, I love them. I love them. Yes. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me for one more week. I'm not sure if this is the last episode of Supergirl that we're gonna have, but it's for sure not the last episode, like the last video that you're gonna see about Supergirl because I have a few ideas that I wanna do maybe on the time uh, that we have the hiatus. So stay tuned. I think that you're gonna like if you like Sambers, if you ship female and female ships, you're gonna like the videos that are coming up. Uh, Next month, well, in a week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you so much, like I said. Um, what else I have to say? I don't have anything else to say. Thank you. Just thank you for joining me in this ride. If you want to subscribe, please don't forget to click right here. There's going to be my face. Click the right there. You're going to be subscribed. Also, click right here. There's going to be a video that you might like. You may have not watched. You might like. So go check it out. Thank you so much again. I'll see you guys next time for another reaction video. Mwah! Bye, guys.